Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Gaming and welcome back to Final Fantasy Brave Exvius War of the Visions. And we're back here taking a bit of a look at Phoebe, who is a Time Mage uh, and an SR unit, which I know a lot of people have said is a good unit to have, very accessible in terms of skills early on, very useful early on, particularly sort of uh, beginning to mid game, but I think even beyond that as well. Um, just due to the amount of versatility that she has and she kind of fits quite well in terms of the timeline of where you might start and then grow in terms of your team. So what I wanted to do was just have a quick look at Phoebe, look at her um, her pros and her cons and also um, give you some of my thoughts on whether you should definitely pick her up. I know that if you'd seen my beginner guide and my top 10 tips, you know that I talked about time majors. Well, she is definitely the SR unit to have, I believe, um, just due to the fact that having skills around agility um, and time magic really, really help, particularly early on, to really give a boost to your team, make sure you're doing a lot more actions, um, immobilize as well as slow down the opponents, all that good stuff. And... Um, the best thing about Phoebe, I think, is that not only is she good from a Time Mage perspective, she has also got a White Mage as one of her job classes as well. So early on, you'll be able to take advantage of having immediate access um, if you actually look at her abilities. You'll have immediate access to Haste, Comet, Immobilize... Um, and if you look at the actual core abilities, she's got Meteor as well, so you'll be able to do some decent damage, um, even no matter what her uh, sub job is, as well as Quicken, which is really, really great, gives the unit um, that's targeted, gives them a 100% on their CT immediately so that they will go straight away, which is really useful when you're trying to deal a lot of damage. So pairing her up with your main DPS, following them around means that you're going to get haste, you're going to get um, some immobilization if they get up a bit too close, and you're going to be able to fire off Quicken as well as you rank up her um, points. So, uh, so yeah, so she's got some really great um, time magic skills as her primary job. Um, she's got a lot of magic up as well, which is really great. Um, and also, uh, being a white mage later on as well, when it's important, you'll actually be able to start unlocking her healing skills. So she's got all the great healing skills, Regenerator. Um, she's also got, uh, if I come up here, uh, she's got Raise as well. Um, I believe that's, uh, yeah, that's a white mage. So she's able to recover targets. So she's going to be able to hasten. She's going to be able to, if you select uh, white mage as her sub job, she's going to be able to cure hasten she's going to be able to well not haste actually she'll be able to quicken um but she'll be able to do all that good stuff and be able to heal your team so it kind of takes two really really important um job types out of you know into put it all into one actual unit which um is really great so even if you invest in her right from the start eventually she'll continue to be useful you can apply her as a healer kind of down the track as well which i think is really 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 great and it really makes her stand out and if we go to her trust master she's actually got a pretty good one there too so she'll be able to actually increase her defense by 11 which is fantastic um, in this trust master that she's got as well as her agility so you get an even better boost to her agility which is pretty decent at five um, but not only that she'll be able to defend a lot more and she'll be light attack resistant as well so all those units out there that are um, thrown around light light attacks um, or elemental attacks uh, you know she'll be able to kind of shrug a few of those off which isn't too bad um, so yeah I think uh, that's all that's all really really great uh, and just adds a lot more to the fact that she's also an SR, so she's going to be able to be limit broken really easily. If you jump right in, you know, she's you've got no um, no difficulties really getting her shards. They just drop down on the normal summons. You know, you you won't even have to really invest any Vizior into that at all. Um, and you'll also get quite a few of her limit break material as well. So she'll be really easy to get up. Um, to 99 without a problem and will be really powerful in both her healing and her um, time magic capabilities so yeah i think it's a really really worthwhile unit to look into 
yes, her stats might not be the best, but how often do you really want to send your mage, your time mage into battle, your healer into battle? You know, you really want to just kind of keep her paired up with someone that's either really, really good at defending, can boost up her defense um, and make her a bit more difficult to kill, or with your DPS, keep them at the back there using that meteor, using the time magic, um, and the and the healing to uh, keep her going and keep your team really really pummeling the enemy. So, I think she's a really fantastic addition. If you are thinking of putting an SR on your team, you can't go past Phoebe. She's great. Yes, there's others. There's some thieves, you know, as well that are useful. But I think, you know, from a DPS perspective, I still believe that's better off left to some of the MR and UR units rather than trying to get that same sort of thing out of the SR. Um, grade of unit but that's just me anyway guys let me know what you think if you like this stuff please like and subscribe it really helps me out if you don't please let me know as well feedback's always welcome and uh, yeah make sure you tick that notification bell so you know when new video is coming out I do about three or four a week um, and in the current climate I'm back on board so you should see more content from me anyway guys thanks for watching whether it's nighttime or daytime I hope you're having an amazing evening or a fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video this is Andy signing off bye